heroes and legends. Left and it's intercepted. Epic confrontations. He's to the 15, to the outside, missing for the end zone, touchdown. Impossible game-winning plays. Penn State, winner of the 2006 FedEx Orange Bowl. Decades of vision, passion, and tradition culminate in this one event. The 75th anniversary of the one and only Orange Bowl Classic, where South Florida celebrates every year and the whole country's invited to the fun, the fanfare, and yes, the football. Brady goes that way and he's got Terrell in the open field. Touchdown! What today has become a worldwide media event began on a wing and a prayer. It was the brainchild of Miami's early city fathers who dreamed big, built bigger, and founded this cherished institution. To appreciate the scope, you've got to look back to Miami in the 30s. Tough times. Think remote fishing village. Think raging hurricanes. Think stock market crash of 29. Just the right ingredients for a couple of mad geniuses to come up with a plan for a bowl game. The strategy was to bring awareness and tourism to a part of the country only locals knew about. But over the decades, the Orange Bowl Classic evolved into so much more. Three quarters of a century later, those unlikely first games would blossom into an unstoppable football tradition, with a journey each year into South Florida and leaving its mark on the world. Did those bold founders have any idea of the impact the Orange Bowl would have? Waters on the quick pop. He is in the end Hosting 18 national championships and 15 Heisman Trophy winners. Reggie Bush across the 40. The historic team dynasties. There's Dick Williamson wide open for the touchdown. And lifelong rivalries. The chasing. He is gone. Touchdown, FSU. The legendary coaches. Throws deep. The superstars. Home run ball. Jackson has it. The All American tight end is going in. And their fans, world leaders. Millions of devoted followers each year descend on South Florida in the dead of winter to feel the heat firsthand. Why? Because the FedEx Orange Bowl never fails to deliver some of the best football ever witnessed. The impact on tourism and South Florida's economy is no less impressive. Millions of dollars are generated in the community each year. Over 1,000 members of the media cover a typical championship game and bring vital exposure to the region. Plus, with programs like youth football and cheerleading, grants and scholarships, the FedEx Orange Bowl continues to reinvest in the community it calls its own. The latest contribution, a legacy gift of $2.5 million to construct a youth sports high school football stadium and track and field facility at Moore Park. And here's where the story comes full circle. Moore Park was the site of the first Palm Festival, the predecessor of the Orange Bowl game more than 75 years ago. If it weren't for its brave and visionary founders so many years ago, Today, there would be no FedEx Orange Bowl Classic, no festival, and no city party. And that's just impossible to imagine. So we salute these courageous men and women who, against all odds, kept their eyes on the goal and let nothing stand in their way. A lot like the winning spirit that defines the FedEx Orange Bowl today. Happy 75th anniversary to the FedEx Orange Bowl. And here's to 75 more. Go Orange!